what a weird time we live in. I recently saw the trailer for the live-action Snow White movie that Disney was making. I saw it this morning, in fact, but it was released around two weeks ago, and the reception for that trailer has been not very good, to say the least. I think it has the second highest or the highest amount of dislikes on a YouTube video, and there are a lot of factors contributing to that, and frankly, it's a lot for me. Too much. I have anxiety. I had a panic attack like around two weeks ago. I can't handle too much drama or just negative momentum. There's just less tolerance for that. I literally break down physically. So I could spend this video going into all the controversies surrounding this film and we will dive into that a little bit later on, but this video more so serves the purpose of looking at the phenomenon that is this whole Snow White situation than the actual Snow White drama or movie itself. It's looking at what's happening socially because of the movie rather than the actual movie itself because I watched the trailer uh, this morning and I wouldn't say I'm mad, I would just say I'm sad. Sad that the essence of Snow White is just not there at all. It's a complete reimagining, I think, is what Rachel Zegler used or said. She said something like, if you liked the original Snow White movie, then you probably won't like this rendition of Snow White, which baffles me. I don't know what kind of marketing strategy that is. If it's even a marketing strategy, I, I don't know what that was. It's weird, weird. A lot of stuff pertaining to this movie is weird, weird. It was supposed to be released this year, in March, but it's been postponed all the way to March 2025 because I think there was backlash because of a leaked set footage showing that six of the seven dwarves weren't actually dwarves and that their, their races were all mixed up and stuff. And then there was also like a Snow White in the picture, but it wasn't Rachel Zegler, I think. It was someone else. And then there was also like another guy in the picture, but I don't know what his deal is. It's all confusing to me. And then because of that picture, Tyrion Lannister got involved as well. And he added a whole other wrench to this already messy situation. And then Rachel Zegler tried to do some damage control, which kind of worked, but also kind of didn't. And then Gal Gadot is also in this movie as well, which is so weird because Rachel and Gal are on, you know, opposing sides of the whole conflict. Like, Gal Gadot is very much openly on one side of the conflict and Rachel is very openly on the other side, so I don't know how that's gonna work. Like, did that affect things on set? Do they like each other? Did they ever like each other? How will this affect the movie? I'm very interested to see how all of that pans out. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of things going against this movie and the response to this whole build-up and project has been a lot for me to comprehend. There's so much content on this particular Snow White movie on YouTube. Like, everyone's covering it, it seems. And this is only just the beginning of the marketing plan. We'll be seeing more and more of Snow White as the months go on. But on a brighter note, there is another Snow White movie in the works, which I think is also set to release around the same time as Disney's live-action Snow White movie, which is kind of hilarious. That one has had a more positive reception. I think it's being made by The Daily Wire, starring Brett Cooper. I'm not familiar with her or The Daily Wire, but that version of Snow White looked very demure, very mindful and more faithful to the original 1937 version. It has that like soft feminine energy that Snow White is supposed to represent. So we have that at least. Hopefully it does well. And I hope that there's a slim chance that Disney's Snow White movie is not the worst thing we've ever seen in the world. Rachel Zegler is a capable actress. Even though I'm pretty sad that this version of um, Snow White seems nothing like the original version. Who knows, maybe it'll be surprising and super empowering to women. But regardless of that though, the, the film student in me really wants to come out for a little bit and say that the cinematography for this movie is absolutely not it. Like you can just tell that 90% of it is just fake. And the film student and aspiring filmmaker in me just feels sad when I see most of the shots in this film but maybe it'll grow on me. There's always a chance. Although I don't think I'll be seeing this in theaters, if I'm being honest. 
this movie has a 330 million dollar budget. I, do I think it's gonna make back that money? No, but maybe that's a maybe that's a good thing. Maybe that's a a sign to Disney that we don't want these live action remakes, and that if they are gonna do live action remakes, to try and respect the source material. Yeah, super fascinated by this whole phenomenon and but also overwhelmed and just tired by all of this because this whole thing has been going on for over a year people have this like vendetta against this specific movie for some reason i'm sure to them it makes sense but yeah people are obsessed with this movie and just clowning on this movie and yeah i'm just kind of by the sidelines just observing it all some of you probably also feel the same and are just overwhelmed by this whole situation. And I am too. <laughs> Hopefully no one gets hurt and we all stay safe and we can all just move past this whole thing after the movie drops next year. Thank you so much for being here. This video is kind of different from the usual type of videos that I do, um, but I like this kind of videos where I just speak my mind and don't really have a structure to what I want to say particularly. I'm planning on making more videos like these in the future where we just kind of talk and ponder about a subject without having a clear statement to make, so to say. And yeah, I'm just excited for the future, as always. And uh, we recently hit 500 subscribers, so thank you guys so much. Uh, I have another channel now, uh, Color is Mar, so go check that out if you want. And yeah, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day.